Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a very much interesting video for you guys. Now in this video we will talk about a great security OS that is used by the hackers or ethical hackers you can say or pen testers or security experts. And the name of the operating system is Parrot Security OS. Yes, Parrot Security OS is a hacking distribution based on Debian. Now you know the popular uh, uh, Linux distribution for hacking is Kali Linux. But Parrot Security OS has its own feature and it's amazing. Lot of interesting hacking related tools are inbuilt there. And also you will get some tools that are not pre-installed in the Kali Linux. So you will get those apps in Parrot Security OS by default. That means pre-built. Okay, so in this video, I will talk about that how you can install Parrot Security OS in your computer or virtual machine and also how can you use it, what are the hacking tools pre-built or inbuilt in this operating system and uh, what is the difference between the Kali Linux and Parrot Security OS. Don't skip any part of this video because this video will be very very helpful for you. So before starting the video, you have to just do one thing hit the like button, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos and also check my other videos in my channel. Okay, so without further delay, let's jump into our main topic today. Alright, now uh, you can see this is the home page of the Parrot uh, OS actually. And uh, now, first of all, I will show you guys that from where you can download the Parrot Security OS. So you can see this is very nice uh, website they have built and lot of information are there okay so first of all uh, you uh, have to go to the download and now you can see uh, there are many flavors of the parrot os now first of all uh, this flavor uh, here i will use this is the security edition and this is specially made for the hackers and pen testers so this is the uh, largest actually and you can see the size is 4.8 gigabytes and it is uh, uh, for AMD 64 also. Okay, so modern computers actually uh, uh, uses the 64-bit operating system. Okay, so basically you can directly download from here or you can download from the torrent. Okay, they uh, actually Parrot OS offers um, every OS uh, with the torrent also. And uh, you can see some screenshots are uh, there. Right, so current version is 5.1.2 Electro Ara. So this is the latest version. And also Parrot OS uh, releases some uh, home edition. Uh, the home edition is actually uh, all the uh, general purpose softwares are pre-installed but uh, no hacking software are uh, installed. But of course you can uh, install it later after installing. And uh, basically you can see size is much less than the Parrot Security OS. Uh, 2.4 gigabytes so you can download from here also and also a uh, hack uh, the box edition is there uh, one cloud edition is there and this is the architect edition basically um, uh, when you install the architect edition uh, basically you have to choose the different desktop environments different tools okay so basically all customized things uh, you can install okay nothing is uh, pre-installed all uh, you can do uh, with your own and also a Raspberry Pi version is available. All right, so you can see this is the uh, Parrot OS. Uh, that means the Parrot security OS I'm using here. And this is, you can see, this is the interface. So very nice interface you can see here. And it, it, it its look is amazing, really amazing. And it is uh, a hacking distro and the look is pretty much uh, of that kind. Okay, so looking wise, it's amazing actually. First of all, I will show you guys and here you can see the uh, system monitor graph. So if you click here, so system monitor will open and you can see this is the Parrot OS uh, version 5 Electro Era and the kernel it is using 5.16. But if you update the system, the latest kernel, uh, you will get uh, probably 5.18 kernel. And it is uh, the desktop environment is Mate 1.24.1 and you can see all the all the detail here. And basically uh, for the resource consumption and you can see the uh, it takes only memory uh, 767 megabytes. Okay, so 700 or 800 megabytes it is using so it is very much less RAM consumption you can see. So this Parrot security OS can be installed in old system too. 
of course you can install in the modern system modern computers but also in the old systems okay uh, pretty much uh, uh, old uh, computers you can use this parrot security os and no uh, uh, hardware acceleration is required that means if you don't have any type of graphics card such as nvidia or or something else so no problem with that because parrot security os uh, actually uh, runs flawlessly okay so no 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 doubt about it okay so i'm just clicking in the application and in the privacy section you can see this is the anon surf and parrot security team developed this uh, software uh, for the parrot os okay so basically uh, in the anon surf and i am opening the anon surf gui now what is it this is actually uh, the tor connection uh, with this simple application you can uh, connect a tor network for the whole computer that means your whole computer will be anonymized uh, with the with the with the tor network okay so you what you have to do you have to just uh, click start button and you can see and uh, do you want to clear the cache i don't kill okay and you can see the the onion writing is starting and you can see the talk network uh, the talk network has been established okay so you can see now now i'm i'm, I'm run, running tor network okay o so basically uh, you can click my ip so if it is possible so uh, you will get the ip address of this tor network and you can see this is the ip this is the current ip of course it is not my uh, original ip address okay because it is in the tor network okay so you can see uh, uh, you can you can you can you can uh, get the details you can see right and also uh, you can change identity so if you click here so a new identity uh, you will be given okay in the tor network so this is very much easy and also you can stop the tor network by clicking here so this is very much effective application simple but very much effective uh, for your anonymity okay so this is the anon surf you can see this is developed by the parrot security team right so this is an amazing application and now i'm just uh, closing it right and now I, I will i will show you guys that and you can see this is the office so full libri office has been installed here you can see libri office calc this is draw impress math and writer so full uh, document uh, document uh, creation you can you can do from here and also this is the uh, thrill document viewer so to view the pdfs and all and in the internet you you are getting the firefox esr and now uh, on any onion share basically you can share uh, some file uh, in in the tor network okay and this is the bit torrent qubit torrent you can see this is the uh, remote desktop client and this is the tor browser now in the graphics and now you can see the gimp is pre-installed here you can see right so so photo editing you, you can do uh, very well and this is the color selection okay and in the sound and video section you can adjust the sound settings and vlc media player is already installed so you can play videos okay and focus screen ng so if you want to record something uh, so screen recording is available you can actually do uh, from this uh, voco screen ng okay so you can make tutorials and now coming to the main part okay the pen testing okay so all these tools are uh, hacking tools okay six 600 plus tools in total uh, are available in the parrot security os okay actually uh, the number is greater uh, compared to the kali linux <laughs> that means uh, kali linux don't have this huge amount of tool pre-installed but parrot security has okay so just most used to tools you can see this is the air crack ng amazing wi-fi cracking software and this is the air dragon and armitage this is the uh, java gui of the metasploit framework okay uh, this is the massive thing and better cap this is the uh, for the man in the middle attacks and this is the bulb split and you can see the johnny this is the hash cracker password cracker okay and this is the multi go so gathering all the informations okay and you can see uh, a different and wire shot this is a great sniffing tool okay uh, okay so now one by one i am uh, I'm, I'm coming to the section so information gathering so uh, by these tools you will gather information about some systems okay to analyze so dns analysis and uh, you can see one by one the live host identification tool and this is the port scanners and here ether app is an amazing app okay this is the uh, graphical uh, uh, this is the graphical network monitoring tool this is amazing and this is the nmap you know nmap is an amazing uh, port scanning uh, software okay and and the the loopholes you can you can detect uh, from this app and wireshark i told you also uh, that it is an amazing 
package capturing uh, software okay and OSINT analysis you can see the, to gather the information about some system and this is the root analysis SMB analysis SMTP analysis SNMP analysis SSL analysis and and these tools are actually uh, famous tools okay these are uh, mostly used tools in the information gathering uh, uh, section and now coming to the vulnerability analysis so how much a system is vulnerable uh, for hacking okay so you can decide from these tools so this, these are Cisco tools fuzzing tools there's the open verse and the uh, stress testing VOIP tools okay and this is uh, you can see that now web application analysis uh, you can see uh, these tools okay uh, this is the CMS and framework identification web application uh, proxies okay and you can see this and web uh, vulnerability scanners okay so that that is very much interesting and these are the commonly used tools now the exploitation tool this is the most dangerous tools you can say okay because you can hack uh, uh, to someone's computer you can hack someone's computer by these uh, tools okay but remember that this video is only for educational purpose and hacking basically hacking without uh, the permission it is completely illegal and you may be punished for that okay so don't ha hack anyone without their permission okay so you have to remember that okay do all things ethically of course and um, and you can see this is the database exploits uh, tools and this is the exploit search ipv6 tools metasploit framework expert you can see this is the msf Ven venom to uh, generate the payloads okay to create some backdoor in some uh, operating system and payload generators you can see this is the, uh, these three are uh, uh, payload generator msf venom is very much popular now social engineering toolkits this is the this is amazing okay for the hacking and uh, web applications you can see uh, uh, jsql injection also and now uh, maintaining access you can see os backdoors tunneling and web uh, web backdoors okay you can create the web backdoors and post exploitation you, you can see uh, the privi privilege escalation okay and all these things you can see now parts password attacks okay so so you can crack the, the passwords uh, from this these uh, tools so these are some uh, offline attacks so john and johnny are very much popular okay and uh, online attacks uh, hydra is very much popular uh, for the gmail hacking and you can see uh, passwords and uh, proofing and all these things you can see right and wireless testing so testing a wireless network basically a wireless hacking all the things you are getting here and this is the air crack ng is available here you can see all the all these things and bluetooth tools so and uh, and you can see this and also uh, rfid and nff tools and software uh, defined radio and also these are the popular tool air crack ng is the number one tool for the wi-fi cracking and also wi-fi it is also good and rubber is also good for wi-fi cracking and uh, okay now coming to the sniffing and spoofing so you can sniff packets okay that means uh, when uh, internet is connected so some packets has been sent and received okay so you can capture those packets and analyze them to detect uh, whatever important to you okay so you can see network sniffers and spoofing and MIT attack. So man in the middle attack. So you just sit on the middle and you just analyze the uh, the incoming and outgoing packets. Okay, and you can hack anyone from that that packets. So that capture packets. So Wireshark is amazing, of course. Okay, and better copies also. Now uh, digital forensic. You can see these are forensic tools, forensic curving tools, forensic uh, imaging tools. PDF forensic tools and this is also and these are the most used tool in the forensic and now uh, automotive you can see and the reverse engineering okay you can you can uh, you are getting these tools okay so and this is the reporting tools okay so all these tools are av available in the in the uh, per security OS okay you can use uh, them very uh, very freely because all these things are free okay okay no charges are there okay so that's that's an amazing thing now coming to the programming you can see Jenny is there and now system tools and you can see all these system tools Kaja is the uh, file manager here and also you can see a lot of tools are there gparted is you know that it is the number one partitioning tool okay so you can create delete partitions okay and uh, you can see basically 
age top and all the things this is the terminal multi terminal and also some other terminals are there you can see and in the system services so you are getting these things so this is the metasploit so you can start metasploit from here open was and ssh you can start okay so start uh, stop restart buttons are here uh, as a separate menu and in the accessories you are getting gtk hash and this is a Puma, this is a text editor and this is also a text editor so many text editors are here this is the universal access okay and now coming to the places so you can directly go to the home folder or pictures folder or whatever else and now uh, for the settings you are getting the system preferences okay so these are hardware preferences bluetooth and all that this is the internet this is the look and feel so in the appearance you can you can go to the appearance section and you are getting these themes okay so these themes are available these themes uh, having icons and all the, all the all the buttons are available and these are the backgrounds beautiful backgrounds are there okay so i'm just uh, showing a few of them uh, you can see this is an amazing background okay so so parrot, parrot security os has amazing background so this is also an amazing background you can see that right this is very beautiful parrot <laughs> right okay so so many wallpapers are there right and now i'm coming to uh, some some settings in the system now uh, this is now you you know that it is it is debian based distribution so basically installing or uninstalling the packages are very much easy okay you can use the command line aptitude package, package manager that is that is apt or you can use the synaptic package manager and you can you you know that synaptic package manager is a great and advanced package manager so you can uh, install uh, or you can uh, just uh, uninstall packages okay from here okay so you can easily update it uh, by clicking this reload button now you can see uh, this is the sound and all that okay so this is basically uh, and this is another menu you can see okay because uh, here you can search for something so uh, suppose i am searching wireshark so you can see so so searching is very much easy from this menu okay so this bottom bottom panel okay so because uh, it is uh, uh, mate desktop environment and you know mate is a traditional uh, desktop uh, environment uh, in earlier it uh, it ha had the name uh, gnome okay gnome 2 now coming to the difference between uh, kali and the parrot os basically now kali linux of course has a huge uh, fan base okay and but the main reason uh, behind um, the usage of the parrot security device because it is very much lightweight and uh, no hardware acceleration of of the of the graphics card uh, are required okay so you can basically install and uh, use in any system okay whatever in modern computers or old computers so this is the flexibility of the parrot os and also uh, very uh, very much uh, you can see uh, various uh, tools are already pre-installed in this uh, parrot security os so that's a pretty much um, important thing okay and so so no lag you will face uh, in the parrot security os compared to the kali linux okay so that's all for today's video and if you like this video if it is interesting to you then hit the like button and also share this video to your friends and also you can subscribe my channel definitely and hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my future videos and also you can donate some amount in my paypal account to support my work so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye